it's kind of maybe it's kind of known as like where we lose our freedom because like you know you're kind of stuck in camp for about two years and I am not looking forward to that. <laughs> So, in a couple of days time, I'm entering what is known as a national service in Singapore, also known as NS. And basically, um, all male Singaporeans uh, above the age of 18, once they kind of finish their studies, they have to enter uh, the military and serve for about two years. Um, this kind of period is kind of known as like where we lose our freedom because like, you know, you're kind of stuck in camp for about two years and uh, yeah, you can't do very, you can't do much really. <laughs> um, there's a going to be, there was, there's supposed to be like a lot of training uh, in terms of like physical and mental, that will be more discipline, you know, to be more fit and you know, military stuff. And yeah, in a couple of days time, it'll be my turn. I am not looking forward to that. You can see as well. I have long hair. <laughs> I've, I've kept this hair for like, I've not, I've not uh, shaved my head for like a few months. And I was supposed to do it initially, but when I got my letter that I have to enlist, I was like, yeah, I might as well just keep it until I have to shave it off. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to cutting my, to shaving my head. It's not the first time I've ever shaved my head like completely. Uh, when I was younger, I had to do it, and th yeah, this would be my first time. But you know, to can't lose all the hair again. Yikes! Um, yeah, I just I thought I document my, I guess some experience, some thoughts um, before I go into national service, and I guess kind of like my last few days before I lose my freedom, and yeah, kind of see like how it goes. Meh, why not? Must cherish my last moments of my hair <laughs> before it's all gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't say it like that. I will never have this hair again until NS. No, no. You know. <laughs> so, hey cousin. And here it is. Hello, egg. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's all I can think about. Look at it. Ah! Not bad. Blech. It's that. That's how I feel. It's either not eh, not bad, or blech. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look at the hair. Oh my light went out. <laughs> Even the light can't stand my hair. Wow! Amazing. So, <laughs> I look like a freaking egg. Like, God, I mean, I'll get used to it eventually, but the hair is. Ugh. So, yeah, it's, it's actually uh, about one day left before I go into camp. Less than 24 hours, in fact. So, I just have to pack and you know, kind of just enjoy the last few hours I have before my freedom is gone. Freedom. <laughs> it's not like, uh, it's not like everything's bad, you know, going to camp and all. But I guess there are some kind of restrictions you have and there, I won't be able to have as much free time as I would have, you know, compared to if I didn't go to uh, camp. But that's just part of life, I suppose. And I guess at the very least, when I do go to camp, I hope that I do get to learn a lot more, maybe in terms of discipline, or kind of just being at peace with myself. Because, you know, when I go into camp, I'll be able to kind of focus more on kind of forming new habits and kind of being a better person, being a better man. 
because you know it's like when you go into camp, you go into army, it's like from boys to men, and I guess that's a mentality I'm trying to for I'm trying to hope for, you know, when I go to army. Yeah. Um, so here's some stuff I am at least bringing, you know, toilet paper, fabric spray, in case uh, I don't feel like showering, I'm going to spray it myself. We have some roll-on deodorant here, we have laundry powder, and a bunch more stuff, you know, that I have to bring. Uh, yeah, it's really just camp life except military. I guess not. Everything is bad, it's not that like I'm going to be working my ass off in army but I'll be at least having uh, some free time off and I just hope to at least continue doing my own videos whenever I have free time or even starting new projects as well. I'm glad that I have at least finished some projects that uh, I guess I've been keeping a hold on for quite a long time and now I'm able to kind of start on new projects and there are also projects that I've been doing that you know haven't come out yet so I'm kind of hoping that with this free time I have whenever I get that free time I'll be able to kind of work on them and then kind of get to improve on them as well I guess there are some hopes as well when I go into army like I hope I can at least meet you know a bunch of new people amazing people there I hope I can make many new friends and I guess I guess I can also hope to kind of enjoy myself there and not kind of uh, stress about uh, things I wouldn't be, <laughs> things I was always stressed about, you know, in the past. Or, uh, yeah, I guess I want, to, I want to have a new focus on life and kind of use this opportunity to improve myself, really. It's two years, uh, but from what I understand, two years is gonna fly by very fast. It would seem like a long time now at the start, but I'm sure that once it's over, I will look back and like, wow, that was really fast. A message to my future self uh, when you're watching this. Uh, I'm not as worried as uh, I hope. I hope uh, that army was good to you. I hope you made new friends. I hope you met wonderful people. And hope that whatever you're doing right now, you're still loving what you're doing and you're still taking care of yourself. <laughs> it's gonna be one hell of a ride. And I hope to enjoy every last bit of it. Got some good old detergent. Detergent. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Deodorant! Deodorant took me off. <laughs> <laughs>